captured the imagination of the sports world nearly a year ago. Now the UMBC men's basketball team is in the middle of another run, and tonight they play in Baltimore County. Sean Stepner has more. The Darlings of March are trying to put things together in January. We just know we got to be playing our best ball come tournament time. There are a lot of games left to play, and we still think we're going to be playing our best basketball come March. Between now and then, UMBC knows they'll be getting their opponent's absolute best. They've already seen it this season. Everyone wants a piece of the team who last year became the first 16 seed to beat a one seed in NCAA tournament history when the Retrievers dismantled Virginia. They want what we have, and that's to go to the tournament and make some noise in the tournament. So we're definitely getting everyone's best shot. We can definitely feel that in the games. It says a lot about, you know, where our program's at right now. Other teams do want to play against us. The Dogs are 9-9 nine and nine overall this season, 1-2 and two in the America East. When they've had success, their defense has led the way. UMBC is first in the conference and 38th nationally, allowing 65.3 points per game. They're 10th in the country with 153 total steals. Right now, clearly, this team, it's, their identity is, is on the defensive end. Uh, we've got to continue to improve on offense. Defense can keep you in games. Tonight, the Retrievers host 5-12 and 12 Binghamton at 7 p.m. This evening's game will be one for the record books. Grad student forward Joe Sherburn is set to start his 113th game for UMBC, a new all-time high for the program. I'm just glad I've been able to contribute in whatever way I could every game. I know what I bring to the team. Um, even if I'm not scoring a lot of points, I think I keep a lot of things together, help keep things organized. He's the guy that you can count on. He's the reliable player, um, and he's gotten better every year. In Catonsville, Sean Stepner, WMAR 2 News.